Higgs is saying, what do you think of the theory that Allah is uh, in, an Arab pagan lunar deity which was adopted to be the God of Islam, God in Islam? I mean, I heard that so many times. I haven't read anyone verifying that. I yeah. think there were a lot of there were a lot of deities in Arabia before Islam became dominant, and there were lunar gods as well. I don't know if that was the highest god. I, I heard Allah was referred. To, I heard the theory that Allah is basically Elohim, mm. right? Because it's very Allah sounds like Elohim. And it could be related to that. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I have to. I don't know if this is just some bloggers going, you know, just going with this claim and just making it and just sounds cool, or is it actually academic? Mm -hmm. uh, some academic analysis behind it that makes this claim, because I, I'm so far any everywhere I saw I saw this claim, it was just on a blog or a YouTuber saying that. I haven't seen any any academics refer to this. I, I you know, so I, I'm not sure about that. What do you think? Yeah, this this kind of sounds uh, so of the very limited stuff I've seen on this too. Um, it's kind of sounds to me like it's one of those, hey, we have all these old documents and stuff, and we're gonna pull stuff out of it and make a connection, which doesn't you know, which doesn't mean necessarily that it's it's not true. It just means that like it's it's what we do a lot of time, which is like this post hoc rationalization thing where after everything is all said and done, we kind of go back and go, well, there's the clue right there. You know, it's like once you've watched the movie, it's like, yeah, you now you can see the guy put something in his pocket, but we didn't the first time. Um, I, it's interesting, I think, and I, I enjoy that type of stuff, right, where people go back and they go, you know, we think Abraham might have actually been like this or whatever. That's cool. Um, I don't think it changes much. In, like, even if that were to be 100% proven, I don't think it changes much for most of the believers, right? I, I think a lot of people would still believe and that would just be like, hey, that's okay with us. You know, Allah is still real, so... I know, I know Islam is a mix of yeah. Abrahamism and pagan Arab ritual. Sure. That we know for almost for sure, right? Um, but it, whether the name came from Arab pagan um, religions, because we know also that Allah was the name of a deity mm -hmm. um, w before Islam became a thing, right? Um, right. Which one? I, and I know there were so many different deities, so many different deities. Yeah. Uh, but I heard like the Allah before Islam was the deity of you know storm, uh, like as well like storm and thunder, or also the deity sense. of the moon. I don't know which one of the deities Allah was. I've mm. seen I've seen contradictory claims, right? Yeah. But the the idea that Allah, the name Allah was taken for what Arabs refer to one of their gods. That is that is true. Mm. Which one of them? That's a, there's a there's a debate about that. Right? Yeah. There's so. there's definitely some old um in the old testament in, in the more Hebrew scriptures and stuff. Um there's some stuff that kind of indicates like Yahweh was viewed as like this thunderstorm like on a mountain. Because there's yeah. a lot of there's a lot of references to people seeing I'm speaking with God in a storm on a mountain. Like the two big ones are Moses and Job. Like, yeah. so there's some of that too, kind of that's like, well, it's just this older thing that kind of got formalized. And, you know, oh, I mean, a big thunderstorm on a mountain would be pretty terrifying in those days, I could imagine. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. you know. So, so Hassan is asking what Arab rituals uh, walking around, <clears throat> walking around the Kaaba? Yeah, um, especially yeah, that one. one. Yeah. That was, that is, that is actually so obviously Arab rituals, pagan Arab rituals that we have hadith and uh, Sira referring to that and saying like, why are we doing this? Wasn't this like pagan? Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. even Muslims yeah. questioning it. Like we have, we have hadith from Omar kissing the black stone in in Kaaba yeah. and saying, and he was like. This is definitely like this is not right, mm. and I telling the telling the black stone that I would not be kissing you right now 
if I did not see Muhammad doing it. Like, because he thinks this is such shirks, mm-hmm. this is so shirky. He thinks, like, this is so, like, much like idol worship <laughs> that he has a problem with it. Like, Omar has a problem with it, and but he's doing it because he said, like, it must be right if Muhammad did it, but I don't know. This looks very pagan to me. <laughs> and there's a lot of there's a lot of Christian things like that too. Like yeah, yeah. He, he, so like the the book of Mark is is very small. It it probably was the 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 gospel that was written closest to Jesus's life. Well, there's an edition that is still printed in in the vast majority of Bibles that we know was added on later. But that addition is basically the whole section of if you really believe in God, you'll be able to handle poisonous snakes and they won't bite you and stuff. And like there's a couple of other things like that. And it's pretty clear that they were trying to incorporate some of the pagan rituals from around them and try to be like, yeah, we do that, too, with our God. Our God's just cooler about it. You know, like, yeah, yeah, like, I mean, it's what you do. That's how you make your religion more palatable to people. Yeah, yeah, so that it has some local appeal. Uh-huh. If it was too Abrahamic, it would be seen as too foreign. Right, right. So that's why Islam had to adopt some of the local tradition. Right. You guys wrote about donkeys. We have more camels. We'll change donkey to camel. Perfect. Like, I mean, right. we have even in Islam the idea that Muslims used to pray towards Jerusalem uh-huh. before they started praying to Kaaba. And the idea was like, this seems too Jewish. <laughs> Mm. And we're not Jewish. Mm. Why are we paying? Why are we praying towards Jerusalem? And yeah. like the idea was like the Kaaba itself seemed too pagan because the Kaaba was associated with the pagan Arab traditions, right? So Muhammad was like, people. I think like the. I think it just seemed too not Arab, and they switched towards praying to the uh, Kaaba. And they say, like, you know what, that Kaaba thing that these pagans are worshiping towards? Actually, Abraham built that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Abraham mm-hmm. built that. Mm-hmm. Abraham and mm-hmm. his son, Ishmael, they built that. Yeah. Yeah. And mm-hmm. you know, and Adam and Eve were they met here at the beginning of everything. So that's it's actually that's, our thing. That's it's the actually thing our that's thing. ridiculous yeah. to me. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like you want to claim if you want to claim that like that's the first tabernacle, you know, the this is yeah. what this is the altar that Abraham okay, that's one thing. But to be like to be like this is where Adam and Eve met. Like that's yeah. come on. That's that's yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> like the so, so they basically took it. They t- they were like, this, it was an Arab pagan thing, and they were worshiping towards Jerusalem. And then they're like, yeah, this thing is not selling among Arabs. So they were like, they like they like their old traditions. So they were like, that Kaaba thing, our guy, Abraham, he built it, right? And like, Abraham was like very far away from here. Most likely. Right? Most <laughs> right? likely. Abraham was like, you know, yeah. he, and he just, you know, Hagar and his and her son, Ishmael, when when. <laughs> Um, when when Abraham threw them out of their house, he did. Apparently, they just walked around with nothing, and they just found their way in 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 Arabia. Even though they were up in, I don't know, Syria and yeah. Jordan and around that around that area. In, in, I mean, in Egypt, where was Abraham? He was in Egypt, and then he was in Israel. Yeah. Um, he was all he was in Iraq, but. That was very far away, and you know, those and at, at back in those days, you can't just like walk around and just happen to come in Arabia. That's a very long distance. So for a slave woman and uh, who has been abandoned by her master mm-hmm. and her child Ishmael to just like walk around and then find herself in the middle of a desert in Arabia is far away. Is it just so unlikely? And then. That's the that's a biblical story. The part that Islam added to it is like, oh, and Abraham one day came for a visit. <laughs> like he just showed up for a visit. Like, hey, he was just, hi. He just didn't have anything else to do, you know. Happened was just bored. Yeah, yeah, they didn't have PlayStation back then, Armin. So you know, of course, he's like, maybe I'll just go on this thousand mile journey on my own. Like, yeah. just come for a visit. We build a cabin together for your son activity, and then I'll go back to my actual wife. I like that he's <laughs> go like, back. Just come in, like, build the cabba, and then go back to do my thing. my son, Iraq. don't you know? For, forget all that stuff. Hey, did you did you see what I did to my other kid? Like, <laughs> relax, man. Trust me. Like, yeah. let's build this. Let's build let's this cabin. Let's build it's this great. thing, and then bye. And then, like, 
but we're the ridiculous ones. <laughs> no, but it was it was an excuse to connect um, Arab traditions to Abrahamism, yeah. and it worked. They bought it, so yeah, I guess, I guess, good job. Yeah, get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.